So uh, let's go for the discussion of this uh, chapter called as of uh, human resources, where we started with the what uh, the idea about uh, distribution of population factors affecting distribution of population. We also discussed about. Um, you also come to know about uh, geographical factors, right? So uh, geographical factors reflecting to climate, topography, soil, or you talk about water, minerals. These are nothing but the regions behind the idea called as a geographical barriers or geographical factors, right? So uh, you also find out social, cultural, and means economic factors social cultural economic factors which we will also discuss uh, one after another so the next one is called as a population uh, change right so when we are talking about population change the population change refers to change in the number of people during a specific time the world population has not been stable right so on that also we will discuss like birth rate death rate natural growth rate and uh, migration is one of the region right so then it comes to the patterns of uh, population change and population composition so population composition population pyramid and also talk about dependence and uh, young dependence and elderly dependence then you come to the next uh, sub points that are known as a that is known as a types of population pyramids. When we talk about types of population pyramids, it means we are talking about some uh, uh, some examples of types of uh, um, um, amid. Okay, so some of the um, uh, countries, some of the countries. Uh, Pyramids like you can talk about Kenya, you can talk about India, you can talk about Japan. Uh, so these are the particular thought. Now, uh, let's begin the idea. Like what is human resource actually? So when you talk about the topic human resource, uh, <clears throat> so at the same time, the question generally comes out, what is human resource? Human resource, hey, can. Now you, you can get the idea, people, right? The size of the population, right? Just as I say, population ka size ek desh mein hota hai. So the size of the population of a country along with its efficiency, ability. So log sirf hone se nahi hota hai. Logon ke andar bo efficiency hai ki nahi. Logon ke andar bo educational qualities hai ki nahi. So, logon ke andar bo productivity, right? Koi kaam karne mein aur usme betterment lane ki, right? So, or called as a organizational abilities, right? And you can say that farsightedness, matlab dur tak sochne ki, right? Ye jo greatest resources hai, right? So, of the nation and are called human resources, right? Sirf लोग होने से नहीं होता है लोगों के अंदर वो एबिलिटी होना चाहिए लोग लिटरेट होने चाहिए और उनका जो लिटरेट क्वालिटीज एजुकेशनल क्वालिटीज होने चाहिए उनके अंदर वो प्रोडक्टिविटी भी होने चाहिए कोई काम करने के अच्छे से एंड आल्सो ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एबिलिटीज सो दे डू हैव द एबिलिटी टू क्रिएट एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दूर-दूर तक सोच सके राइट फार साइटेडनेस are the greatest resources of the nation, right? And therefore, it is the they all are called human resources, right? So all other resources of nature become important only when people are able to extract its usefulness. Agar log means baki chijo se, right? Kuch quality nikal paate hai, then only baki resources ka importance hota hai. Banna un sab resources ka koi mahatto nahi hai, right? It is people with their demands and abilities that turn them into resources. So, logon ke andar means 
जो डिमांड्स होते हैं लोगों लोगों के अंदर जो एबिलिटीज होते हैं सो उसी से क्या होता है रिसोर्सेस आता है राइट सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट इफ आई मेक इट इन टू अ सम ऑफ एवरीथिंग आई कैन से दैट people the size of population of a country along with its efficiency educational qualities productivity organizational abilities and far sightedness are the greatest resources of the nation and are called human resources all the other resources of nature become important only when means uh, people uh, able to people are able to extract its usefulness right then right it is people with uh, their demands and abilities that turn the uh, that turn them turn the people into resources right that is called as a human resources now uh, let's go to the next one is called as a means uh, you will say that people are a nation's greatest resource from the uh, from the beginning to till today we know that so what now people are a nation's great resources it is people with the demands and abilities that turn uh, nature's bounty into resources or huge resources therefore healthy educated and motivated people uh, de uh, develop resources right as for their requirements right human resources like other resources they are not equally distributed so you won't find out that people spread in the world right so in a equal manner no so people are not dist equally distributed over the world and differ in their educational levels age and sex you would find out that male female children old age right so age is somehow called as a 5 years can be called as a 50 years can be called as a 15 years right so educational level some may illiterate some may literate some may highly literate some may means you can say that uh, uh, experienced some may unexperienced right so even you will find out that some people live in the plain areas some people live in the rural areas some people live in the urban areas some people do not live in the mountainous area right so in that case you will find out means uh, uh, there are different different right uh, uh, geographical areas where different different people live on the basis of their educational levels age and sex right and they were not equally distributed over the world their numbers their characteristics also keep changing right if you talk about bhubneshwar you will find out somehow called as a 1 uh, point uh, or 3 crore people live whereas or 2 crore people live whereas if you uh, in odisha uh, you talk about some some kind of approximate figure i pointed so at the same time if you talk about madhya pradesh the population would be more than that of odisha so if you talk about uh, maharashtra so it differs if you talk about usa you talk about pakistan so different different means uh, you know number of the means uh, number uh, number of the people live right and their characteristics also some may called as a hard working some may lazy some may means uh, disable some may oh, uh, healthy right so in on the basis of that you can point out means it is completely unequal right unequally distributed so if you talk about india the government of india has a minister of human resource development so which was created at the in the year of 1985 why now what is the aim now the aim to improve people's skills people's skills right this just proves how important people are as a resource for the country so people are means uh, uh, called as a, one of the vital resources right uh, for the country and that is why the government of india means has a, one of the organizations like ministry of human resource development right so that is nothing but the brief introduction about it next 
if I am talking about distribution of population, let's say that the way in which people are spread across the earth surface, like just some time ago, I pointed means uh, how people are spread means over the world, right? Uh, in a different, different manner, right? So, and they are also differ on the basis of their abilities and characteristics, right? So, here, when we talk about distribution of population, we understood the way in which people are spread across the earth's surface is known as the pattern of population. So, pattern of population is called the pattern of population. Right, pure dunya me, right. So, usko kaha jata hai pattern of population uh, or pattern of population distribution. Just say, ye point out hota hai ke more than 90% of the world's population lives in about 30% of the land surface, right. So, uh, 90 pratisad lok, right, world ke population, right, lives in about 30% of the land, uh, land surface. Right. So, and the distribution of population in the world is uh, extremely uneven since uh, some areas are very crowded, some are sparsely populated. You would find out that 30% of the land surface ka matlab kya hota hai? Ke means koi bhi mount, bohat sa, aur jo 70% hai, jis mein means uh, kuch aise jage bhi hai jahaan pe log reh nahi sakte. Likin kuch aise jage bhi hai jahan pe log reh sakte hai likin baut difficulty ke saan. Right. So, us se saab se agar dekha jai, means you would find out 90% people live in the means 30% of the land surface. Right. And other 10% live in somewhere like a, a different areas which is not called as an appropriate uh, living place. So, the distribution of population in the world is extremely uneven since some areas are very crowded. Kuch kuch jaga to bohoti crowded hai, jaysa Mumbai, right? And some are sparsely populated. Uh, kuch jaga hai jahan pe bohot kam log rehta hai, right? The crowded areas uh, are South and Southeast Asia. So, uh, yahan pe example ke isaab se le sakte ho, South and Southeast Asia uh, are called as a crowded areas. Europe and uh, North Eastern, uh, North Eastern, North America. So, ye bhi aapka crowded hai. Almost three quarters of the world's people, right? So, three quarter of the world people live in two continents. Uh, which are the two continents? Asia and Africa, right? 60% of the world people stay in just 10 countries and all of them have more than 100 million people. Imagine China, India, of uh, then after... You talk about uh, uh, USA. So, these places hai, right? So, where 60% world ke log rehte hai, right? So, as a thus, the they say, where 60% of the world people stay. Whereas, we have a 210 or 11 countries, right? So, out of that, you will find out 100 million people live in just 10 countries. So, if you look at that, if you look at uh, means uh, how come means uh, more people live in a, such kind of a places and they are simply crowding that place, right? The next stage called as a density of population. So, agar dekha ja density ka matlab kya hota hai? Population density is, is nothing but called as a kitne log rehte hai? The number of people living in a unit area of the earth surface. It is normally expressed as per square kilometer. The average density of population in the whole world is 51% per square kilometer. So, per square kilometer mein means 51% log rehte hai. South Central Asia has the highest density of population followed by East and Southeast Asia. So, uh, if you talk about South Central Asia means which is nothing but the highest density. So, what do you mean by highest density? It means the highest population, right? So, at the same time, right, uh, it is also followed by East and Southeast Asia. East and Southeast Asia. Now, let's come to the other one that's called as a factors which are affecting distribution of population. 
सो क्या क्या फैक्टर्स हैं जिसके वजह से मीन्स पॉपुलेशन जो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो रहा है उसमें क्या प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है हियर आर द मीन्स मेजर फैक्टर्स राइट व्हाट आर द मेजर फैक्टर्स द फर्स्ट वी इज कॉल्ड एज जियोग्राफिकल फैक्टर्स सो जियोग्राफिकल फैक्टर्स किस हिसाब से एक फैक्टर है जो कि मीन्स पॉपुलेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में द फर्स्ट वन इज कॉल्ड एज टोपोग्राफी राइट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टोपोग्राफी मीन्स इट इज इंडिकेटिंग अबाउट वॉट टोपोग्राफी इज वॉट Now, pointing about the arrangement of the natural and artificial feature, physical feature of an area, or you can say distribution of parts, right? Or distribution of features on the surface or within an, means a particular place, right? So, if I am talking about topography, topo graph का मतलब picture होता है, topo का मतलब होता है place. So कोई भी प्लेस का पिक्चर अगर देखा जाए पीपल ऑलवेज प्रीफर राइट टू लीव ऑन वे ना प्लेन्स राइट जैसे कि मीन्स पीपल डू नॉट वांट टू लीव मीन्स ऑन रिवर और कॉल्ड एज माउंटेनियस एरियाज सो और कॉल्ड एज प्लेटस सो वेर दे वांट टू लीव ना दे वांट टू लीव द प्लेस लाइक प्लेन्स राइट बिकॉज these uh, if you talk about mountains and plateaus uh, areas are means uh, uh, not suitable for them right and plains are suitable for farming manufacturing and service activities so jis ke wajah se log prefer karte hain plains mein rehne ke liye the ganga plains right are the most densely populated areas of the world while mountains like andes alps एंड हिमालय आर स्पार्सली पॉपुलेटेड जिसका मतलब यहाँ पे ऐसे नहीं कि लोग रहते नहीं है लोग रहते हैं लेकिन इतना भी नहीं रहते जितना गंगा प्लेन में रहते हैं राइट सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन सो क्यों टोपोग्राफी को देखा जाता है ना बिकॉज ऑफ द फार्मिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विस एक्टिविटीज राइट और इसमें एक पॉइंट है जिससे ये पॉइंट आउट होता है कि गंगा प्लेन इज मोस्ट डेंसली दैन अदर Andes, Alps and Himalayas. So, topography is a geographical factor. What is the factor? The climate. What is the factor? People usually avoid extreme climates. Right? So, that are very hot and or you can say that very cold like Sahara Desert, polar regions of Russia, Canada and Antarctica. So, uh they do not want to leave a kind of a place where means so weather condi condition is called as a extreme level right so our climate is called as a extreme level so that's also one of the region for which extreme hot or extreme cold cannot be suit for the people right to live in that place right so uh or hey soil right definitely soil be a matter karta hai kyunki fertile soil agar सॉइल अच्छा होता है प्रोडक्शन करने में सुइटेबल लैंड है अगर एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्टिविटी के लिए तो लोग प्रिफर करेंगे उस जगह में रहने के लिए फर्टाइल प्लेन सच आज गंगा एंड ब्रह्मपुत्र इन इंडिया वांग हे चांगजिंग एंड इन चाइना एंड नीले इन इजिप्ट आर डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड यहाँ पे बहुत सारे लोग रहते हैं बहुत ही लोग रहते हैं क्योंकि इस जगह का जो सॉइल uh, है वो मीन्स क्या है फर्टाइल है और स्विटेबल है फॉर एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड राइट एग्रीकल्चरल कल्टीवेशन तो ये एक चीज है सो वी फाइंड आउट थ्री मोर टू यू विल फाइंड आउट ये मोर टू क्या होता है वाटर एंड मिनरल्स सो वाटर भी एक एसेंशियल मीन्स एलिमेंट है लोगों के लिए पीपल प्रीफर टू लिव इन द एरियज वेर दे गेट द फ्रेश वाटर राइट सो विच इज इजीली अवेलेबल The river valleys of the world are densely populated, right? While deserts have a spare population. So, log Rajasthan me itne nahi rehte hain jitne means uh, Mumbai me rehte hain or called as a uh, Orissa me rehte hain, right? So, uh, uh, or you talk about why? Na because you find out that means the condition of the water. and as well as the availability of the water is also one of the uh, big or vital regions right 
तो और क्या चीज है ना ये भी एक रीजन है जिसके जोग्राफिकल फैक्टर्स सो जिसमें वाटर भी आते हैं सो नेक्स्ट इज कॉल्ड इज मिनरल्स एरियज विथ मिनरल सो कुछ लेट मी टेल यू यू लिव मीन्स a kind of a place where means little water is available right or not are you getting my point so the amount of water yes sir um, yes sir i am talking about availability of the water isn't it so yes, aap, sir. rajasthan yes, sir. So, uh, rajasthan yahan pe ek idea aap agar dekhoge that called as a sahara desert right desert areas so jahan pe pani ka bahut hi problem hota hai hota hai ki nahi फ्रेश वॉटर का अवेलेबिलिटी है राइट तो वहां पे लोग रह सकते हैं और ज्यादातर रहते भी हैं राइट और एक जगह भी है यू कैन से दैट इफ यू लिव नियर बाय द सीज एंड ओशंस राइट दैट Uh, that come with nothing but a salty water will you be able to sustain with the salt water no you need fresh water right to wo bhi ek region hai so uh, that is the region water is coming under what na factors factors of ge geographical factor then another one is called as minerals so jab hum minerals ke bare mein discuss karte hain so areas with mineral deposits जिस जिस एरिया में मिनरल डिपोजिट्स डिपोजिट्स है राइट सो दैट आर मोर पॉपुलेटेड राइट लेट्स से दैट डिमांड डिमांड ऑफ माइंस राइट सो इन साउथ अफ्रीका एंड डिस्कवरी ऑफ ऑयल इन द मिडल ईस्ट दैट लीड टू द सेटलिंग ऑफ पीपल इन दिस एरियाज अलॉट राइट सो माइंस इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डायमंड राइट डायमंड um uh, that is also available in a south africa so um or if you talk about mining part right uh or other minerals product other minerals so those minerals if you find out in a particular place so what happened to that na obviously people means believe of what believe of means getting it and also uh, can use that minerals uh, forming into the different different products so people start you know settling in that area right so if you talk about that these are the five factors coming as a geographical factors and that are creating hindrance right so that are creating hindrance means uh, in distribution of population if these are the means factors are there then you will find out in these are the means of factors for which people settle in an area if you find out they get a, a plains one a, the place is plain so they uh, start living there so if they find out the climate is good so uh, uh, and the suit to them then they settle there if they find out water availability minerals and soil fertility is excellent then or called as a normal then they start living there but if they find out out of this five if means one or two right so creating a kind of a hindrance or not proper so what they do now they leave but not leave like a crowded manner right so Uh, this is what you can say that uh, geographical factors another factor is referring here that's called as a social cultural and economic factors so ap apart from geographical factor social cultural and economic factor social like areas of better housing education and health facilities are more densely populated for example right you can talk about pune you can talk about uh, means uh, Uh, see that in odisha bhubneshwar right or you talk about means a place called as maharashtra right so means if they find out better housing better education and better health facilities so they start living in a huge manner cultural places with a religion or cultural importance attract people 
So you find out uh, people live in a Baranasi, people live in Jerusalem, people live in Vatican City. So these are on the basis of the culture, right? So uh, uh, another thing you will find out that's called as economic, social, cultural and economic. Economic like industrial areas, right? Jo ki provide karta hai employment opportunities. So why people uh, move to Bangalore? Why people move to Hyderabad? Why people move to uh, Ahmedabad, Gujarat? Now, because means you, you, you would find out employment opportunities. Therefore, a large number of people are attracted to these areas, right? So means in abroad, you will find out Osaka in Japan and Mumbai in India, right? Are two densely populated areas. So you can say that social, economical, uh, uh, social, economic, and also means uh, cultural uh, parts are also very important um, regions for which means people crowded or people live in that places. Right. Next, if I'm talking about the next one, the next one is called as a population change. So population change now, uh, like you can say that the population change refers to change in the number of people during a specific time. So, I have discussed human resources ke bare mein, and then after we talk about ke, kis se human uh, population right, uh, spread across the country or you can say that over the world in an uneven manner and kya factors hote hain jiske wajah se population means spread hote hain unequally right abhi hum discuss karenge population change ke bare mein so population change refers to what change in the number of people during a specific time so a particular time ke hisab se logon ka means changes hona matlab population change hona right the world population has not been stable ये कंस्टेंट भी नहीं है, राइट? फॉर एन एक्सट्रीमली लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री, अंटिल द 1800, राइट? द वर्ल्ड पापुलेशन ग्रीव स्टेडीली बट स्लोली, धीरे-धीरे बढ़ रहा है, लेकिन बढ़ रहा है। लार्ज नंबर ऑफ बेबीज वेर बर्न, बट दे डाइट अर्ली टू, बिकॉज़ देर वेर नो प्रॉपर हेल्थ फैसिलिटी Farmers were not able to produce enough um, product to meet the food requirements of all the people. So that is also one of the reasons for which scarcity of food. Bhuke ke karan log marte hai, right? As a result, the total increase in population. So logon ka jo uh, gradual grow. So wo bahut slow hai, was very slow. So... Uh, let's say that in 1804, the world population reached 1 billion. In 1804, the world population was 1 billion. In 1959, right, world population reached 3 billion. And this is often called the population explosion. So, population explosion, which uh, year was 1959? Why? Because at that time, 3 billion people were in 1999, 40 years later, right, the population doubled, 6 billion, right. Yes, so, you find out that 1, 3, 6, right. The main reason for this growth was that with the better food supplies, medicine, deaths, deaths were reduced, uh, while the number of births still remained fairly high, right. So, means obviously, ye point out hota hai, ke uh, growth kyun hua? Double uh, means uh, why the number of the uh, population means double in this 40 years. Now you would find out the reason behind it is called the food supplies, medicine and deaths were reduced. Right. So well, the number of births still remained fairly continue or high. So uh, birth rate is going on but at the same time death rate is reduced. So, birth rate kis ko kaha jata hai? Now, birth are, uh, births are usually measured using the birth rate, which is number of lives, uh, number of lives, uh, life births per thousand people, right? 
सो एक हजार में अगर देखा जाए बर्थ रेट कितना हुआ है सो डेथ रेट डेथ रेट आर यूजल मीजर यूजिंग द डेथ रेट विच इज द नंबर ऑफ डेथ पर थाउजेंड हजार में कितने लोगों का डेथ हुआ हजार में कितने लोगों का बर्थ हुआ सो so, उसको बर्थ रेट एंड डेथ रेट कहा जाता है सो so, तो उस हिसाब से नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट किसको कहा जाता है ना बर्थ एंड डेथ्स आर द नेचुरल कॉजेस राइट नेचुरल कॉजेस फॉर अ पॉपुलेशन चेंज एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बर्थ रेट एंड द डेथ रेट ऑफ अ कंट्री इज कॉल्ड द नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट सो नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट का मतलब क्या होता है कि बर्थ एंड डेथ सो ये तो नेचुरल कॉजेस राइट नेचुरल कॉजेस ऑफ पॉपुलेशन चेंज एंड अगर डिफरेंस आता है बर्थ रेट एंड डेथ रेट ऑफ अ कंट्री इज कॉल्ड एज नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट राइट द पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड इज मेनली ड्यू टू रैपिड इंक्रीज इन नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट सो पॉपुलेशन जो इंक्रीज हो रहा है वो किसके वजह से हो रहा है ना नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट के वजह से राइट नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट बर्थ रेट डेथ रेट नेचुरल ग्रोथ रेट then it comes to the migration so migration ka matlab kya hota hai na that refers to the movement of the people right movement of people in and out of an area matlab bhubneshwar mein kuch hai jo ki means us hisab se count kiya jaye to uh, to means uh, uh, 2 lakh uh, 20 lakhs people now in the same case agar unme se kuch log ja ke mumbai mein settle ho gaye to uh, what do you find out they migrate in the interstate right but sometime it also happens like people move from your country to the other country right so that's also occur it is another way by which population size changes so population ka jo number wo change hota rehta hai because of the migration because of the natural growth rate right, right? Uh, so in that case people may move within a country or between countries so jaise maine kaha immigrants are people who leave a country so please to understand migrants migration immigrants and immigrants so immigrants are people who leave a country immigrants are those who arrive in a country right so countries like usa australia have gained in numbers by in migration or immigration right so in migration or called as a, in or immigration जैसे कि सुदान इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ कंट्री सो जो कि एक्सपीरियंस कर रहा है और लॉस इन पॉपुलेशन नंबर्स, राइट सुदान में लोगों की कमी हो रहा है राइट सो क्यों ना ड्यू टू आउट माइग्रेशन और इमिग्रेशन सो आउट माइग्रेशन और इमिग्रेशन मतलब लोग देश छोड़ के जा रहे हैं राइट सो एंड द जनरल ट्रेंड ऑफ इंटरनेशनल माइग्रेशन इज फ्रॉम द लेस डेवलप नेशन टू द मोर डेवलप नेशन इन सर्च ऑफ बेटर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी लोग उड़ीसा छोड़ के अगर मुंबई जाते हैं या तो मीन्स कोई कोई पर्टिकुलर प्लेस छोड़ के एक अदर प्लेस को जाते हैं जॉब सर्च करने के लिए तो इसका मतलब क्या है ना जिस प्लेस में वो रहते थे वो प्लेस डेवलप नहीं है और जो प्लेस को जाते हैं जॉब खरी सर्च करने के लिए तो वो प्लेस डेवलप्ड है जहाँ पे बेटर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज है विद इन कंट्रीज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल में मूव within countries a large number of people may move with the from the uh, rural to urban areas in search of employment education and health facilities so bahut sare regions hai jiske wajah se log means jaate hain jaise ki rural areas mein log rehte nahi hai means for the sake of employment right so job opportunity wahan pe nahi hai health of हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज भी अच्छे नहीं है एजुकेशन फैसिलिटीज भी अच्छा नहीं है जिसके वजह से कुछ लोग जो कि मीन्स रूरल एरियाज में सेटल्ड हैं फिर भी वो क्या करते हैं अर्बन एरिया को चले आते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दीज थ्री रीजन राइट नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट वी स्टार्टेड टूडे इज कॉल्ड एज अ पैटर्न ऑफ पॉपुलेशन चेंज राइट तो हियर वी कैन ग्रो अप विद द आइडिया कॉल्ड एज अ what are the regions for which you will find out means population change occur right we started with the human resource we uh, discuss about distribution of population we started discussion about factors right geographical factors social cultural and economic factor and we discussed about population change 
नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट पैटर्न ऑफ पॉपुलेशन चेंज मतलब किस हिसाब से पॉपुलेशन का चेंज होता है सो रेट्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ डिफर अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड मतलब सिर्फ इंडिया में नहीं है पूरे दुनिया में जहां पे भी जाओगे वहां पे भी पॉपुलेशन का ग्रोथ वैरी करेगा राइट ऑल दो दर्ल्ड टोटल पॉपुलेशन इज राइजिंग रैपिडली राइट वर्ल्ड का पॉपुलेशन राइज कर रहा है इंडिया के नहीं इंडिया का ग्रेजुअली स्लोली डेवलप इंक्रीज कर रहा है बट वर्ल्ड का टोटल पॉपुलेशन राइजिंग कर रहा है रैपिडली नॉट ऑल कंट्रीज आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग दिस ग्रोथ कुछ कंट्री है जैसे कि इंडिया चाइना जो कि टॉप लेवल में है राइट right? some countries like kenya have high population growth rate so yes uh, country is china second is india yeah i'm just giving or uh, taking some example so some countries like kenya uh, have high population growth rates with uh, why now because of improving healthcare healthcare death rates have been fallen but birth rates still remain high leading to high growth rate तो अगर डेथ रेट कम हो रहा है एंड बर्थ रेट बढ़ता ही जा रहा है तो डेफिनेटली पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ होगा इन अदर कंट्रीज लाइक द यूनाइटेड किंगडम पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ इज स्लोइंग बिकॉज ऑफ बोथ लो डेथ एंड लो डेथ एंड लो बर्थ रेट तो वहां पे बर्थ रेट एंड डेथ रेट दोनों ही लो है राइट दैट इज वॉट द रीजन ऑफ पैटर्न ऑफ पॉपुलेशन चेंज pattern of population so pattern of population change me uh, what comes that called as a means uh, when the health health of the population grow good so automatically birth rate increase so and death rate decrease right so uh, the next one is called as a population composition so when we talk about the next idea which, which is indicating population composition जिसका मतलब होता है पॉपुलेशन हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द लेवल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट लोगों का कुछ करना नहीं है वेमेंस इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट में राइट सो जैसे कि बांग्लादेश हो जापान राइट दे आर वेरी डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड राइट ह्यूज पॉपुलेशन बट जापान इज फार मोर इकोनॉमिकली डेवलप्ड देन बांग्लादेश सो अगर इकोनॉमिकली देखा जाए राइट पैसे के हिसाब से जापान बांग्लादेश से बहुत डेवलप्ड है people vary greatly in their age sex literacy level health condition occupation and income level to so, yahan pe differ kya karta hai na differ age sex literacy level kitna educated hai health condition kaisa hai occupation kya hai aur income level kya hai it is essential to understand these characteristic of the people to understand them as resources to so, ye bhi aapka resources hi hai right population composition so population composition refers to the structure of the population right so kis hisab se unka structure hai the composition of the population helps us to know how many males how many females kitne male hai kitne female hai kaun se age group uh, kaun se area se belong karta hai so which age group they belong to men and women राइट हाउ एजुकेटेड दे आर ये जो मेल एंड फीमेल के बारे में डिस्कस कर रहे कर रहे हैं हम तो उनका एज ग्रुप क्या है सो मतलब अस्सी साल के हैं या सत्रह साल के हैं या मीन्स सत्ताईस साल के हैं सो कितने एजुकेटेड हैं राइट और किस टाइप के जॉब कर रहे हैं राइट सो वॉट देर इनकम लेवल्स एंड उनका हेल्थ कंडीशन कैसा है अच्छा है या बुरा है अगर अच्छा है तो वो काम कर पा रहे हैं कि नहीं तो ये एक मंस होता है पॉपुलेशन कंपोजिशन तो अगर देखा जाए पॉपुलेशन स्ट्रक्चर का काम मतलब होता है कि पॉपुलेशन मंस कंपोजिशन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन हेल्प्स अस टू नो के मेल एंड फीमेल्स जो हैं वो मंस एज ग्रुप एजुकेटेड ऑक्यूपेशन एंड एम्प्लॉयड और नॉट राइट इनके इनकम लेवल एंड हेल्थ कंडीशन कैसे हैं राइट दैट्स व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज पॉपुलेशन कंपोजिशन पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड अगर देखा जाए ना पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड एक आइडिया है राइट सो जिसमें हम स्टडी करते हैं कि एक कंट्री बाय लुकिंग एट द पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एन एज सेक्स पिरामिड राइट और पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड शोज कितने लोग हैं जो कि डिवाइडेड हुए हैं उनके एज ग्रुप के हिसाब से जैसे कि पांच से नौ साल दस से चौदह साल 
the percentage of the total population subdivided into males or females in each of those groups. So, if you have 5 or 9 years, how many males are and females are there? If you have 10 or 14, how many males are there? How many females are there? So, that is what a population pyramid shows. The shape of the population pyramid tells the story of the people living in that particular country. Okay, the numbers of children, if they are below 15 years, they are shown at the bottom and reflect the level of births, right? So they are shown at the bottom, right? And reflect the level of birth. The size of the top shows that the number of aged people above 65 years and reflects the number of deaths, right? So the population pyramid also tells us how many dependents. So pyramids, if you look at the pyramids, the top part is called as a cone set. राइट सो एंड उसमें भी ये पता चलता है कि कितने डिपेंडेंट हैं कितने इंडिपेंडेंट हैं और कितने एल्डरली डिपेंडेंट हैं एंड कितने यंग डिपेंडेंट हैं अगर डिपेंड एक कंट्री में सो जैसे कि जहां पे टू ग्रुप्स ऑफ डिपेंडेंट्स यंग डिपेंडेंट्स एंड एल्डरली डिपेंडेंट्स यंग डिपेंडेंट्स किसको कहा जाता है जो 15 साल से नीचे है एल्डरली डिपेंडेंट किसको कहा जाता है जो 65 से ऊपर है Right. Those of the working age are economically active. So, if someone is doing work, what does it mean? That they are economically dependent, independent. Right. Now, economically active. Now, let's come to the last one. That's called the types of population pyramids. How many types of population pyramids are? Like Kenya. Take the example of Kenya. The population pyramid of a country, country ka jo population pyramid hai, in which birth and death rate both are high, right? Birth and death rate both are high. We understood, right? Is uh, uh, broad at the base, right? Base mein broad hai and rapidly narrows towards the top, right? Rapidly narrows towards the top because although many children are born, bahut sare bachche janam lete hain. Right, a large percentage of them die in their ch uh, means childhood age, infancy age. Why? Uh, now, relatively few become adults and they are very few old people. Right. So, because of some uh, regions, like you can say health facility or maybe called as a scarcity of food, this situation is typified by the pyramid shown for Kenya. So we find out that that's called as the base part is means you can say that broad. The top part is called as a narrow, right? Gradually it goes narrow. India ka agar dekha jai, jis mein death rates means uh, uh, especially among us, the very young, right? So are decreasing the pyramid. It's broad in the younger age group because more infants survive to adulthood. Baut sari बच्चे जो हैं means young age तक अच्छे से जी जाते हैं this can be seen in the pyramid for India right so such populations contain a relatively large number of young people and जिसका मतलब है कि एक strong and expanding labour force जिसका मतलब है कि अगर adult तक पहुंच जाते हैं young age तक पहुंच जाते हैं तो इसका मतलब इनमें वो काम करने की क्षमता है right so yeah, means that's what is shown a kind of a different pyramid. So where you find out means uh, death rates are decreasing, right? So death rates are decreasing the pyramid. So we understood that means uh, the pyramid in the manner, right? So if you look into the case of Japan, agar Japan ki case dekha jai, in countries like Japan, jahan pe birth rates baut low hai, जिसमें पिरामिड इट मेक्स द पिरामिड नैरो एट द बेस मतलब बेस पार्ट जो है वो नैरो है राइट सो एंड डिक्रीज डेथ रेट्स एंड डिक्रीज्ड डेथ रेट्स अलाउ नंबर ऑफ पीपल टू रीच ओल्ड एज सो एंड बहुत सारे लोग हैं वो स्किल्ड हैं काम कर सकते हैं अच्छे से स्पिरिटेड हैं एनर्जाइज हैं एंड ऑप्टिमिस्टिक भी हैं यंग लोग यहां पे सो so, Endowed with a positive outlook, जिनको जिनमें positive nature है, 
एंड टू डू समथिंग फॉर द फ्यूचर ऑफ द नेशन सो देश को आगे बढ़ाने का सोच भी है सो so, uh, अगर आप इंडिया के बारे में देखोगे वी इन इंडिया आर फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव सच अ रिसोर्स तो इंडिया में बहुत ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन यू विल फाइंड आउट ह्यूज सो द थिंग इज कॉल्ड एज दे मस्ट बी एजुकेटेड एंड प्रोवाइडेड स्किल्स एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू बिकम एबल एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी सो एक ही चीज आपको यहाँ पे देखना है दैट्स कॉल्ड एज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स इज ह्यूज but it is very important to be educated and provided skills and opportunities to use them in a productive manner to usi hisab se dekha jaye to population compositions uh mein, what you can discuss here that called as a uh, population composition kise kehte hain population pyramid and uh, मींस जब हम डिपेंडेंट के बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं यंग डिपेंडेंट एंड एल्डरली डिपेंडेंट एंड देन आफ्टर केनिया जापान इंडिया को लेके किस टाइप का पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड्स बनता है राइट right? एंड इन तीन कंट्री में क्या डिफरेंशिएशन है ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन को लेके सो so, जिसके बारे में हमने डिस्कस